Welcome to a brand new video. Today is Saturday. I could have started this vlog yesterday, but I didn't feel like it. Truthfully, I was second guessing a bit. I'm about to go to the gym and I'm gonna take you guys with you. So first things first, let me get my hygiene in order. This is the toner that I'm using, which I've kind of uh, put in here so that I can do this. I'm using the Vichy Hyaluronic uh, Serum. I just want a bit of glow. I'm not doing much. Going in with the Beauty of Johnson sunscreen. So I'll use this as a moisturizer and a sunscreen. Lastly, I'm going in with the Laneige Lip Mask. This thing is absolutely a banger. All right, ready to go. Let's go now. <laughs> this is the creatine monohydrate. I'm also taking the calcium magnesium. You guys have seen this too before. And then I used to take um, the Oxy Shred pre-workout. This is over. So this is my new uh, pre-workout. This one is by Alani. I'm just gonna same usual dosage and we're good to go. <clears throat> Thanks, Beth. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I start really you know, like in the freezer or the fridge just because. Bottom is up. Hey guys, just got back from the gym. It was an intense one hour session and I just got back here, I showered. I don't know, I'm looking at my hair and it's not giving. I'm not gonna take you guys through the whole process, I'm just gonna do this offline and then show you. But if you're new here, hi. I'm a girl who's still discovering the color of her hair. And no, I'm not worried of losing hair. I've lost it before and I did die. So just, those are my credentials. Currently, I'm using the Ford Me. This is the 40% developer. And then I'm using the Ford Me Blue Highlighter Blonde. And then I have a mixing bowl and this. So I kind of take one to one ratio of this. And then when I'm done, I kind of got a, this a toner. I'm gonna try it for the first time to see how, if I can get like a pure white color. So the toner looks like this. Well, if there was ever a time for my hair to come all the way through, is now so i'm just gonna mix this and then i'll um i'll talk to you guys it's not it's not a tutorial i've just shown you what i'm using so i'll see you when i am applied in one okay so here we go all right i'll see you guys when I see you, I'll see you guys when I see you probably for me my hair doesn't fall apart because I'm gonna be pissed because I have to record a podcast today and I don't wanna do it bald headed. It's been 45 minutes since I did whatever this was. I'm gonna jump in the shower and then I'll show you guys what we're working with. But please, please pray for me. I'm not sure if I lost hair, but 
this is just uh, after rinsing it out I'm not sure if I need to go with the shampoo I think I'm gonna shampoo it first before I do the toner let me read about this mm, this one I'm not too sure all right I'm just gonna go in with the toner this is new for me it's slimy Guys, pray for me, it's not turned purple. I'm gonna jump in the shower and then I'll see you guys when I'm done. This was not even meant to be a hair tutorial, so I'll just see you when I'm dressed. Hey guys, it is later in the day. Uh, I'm having a Red Bull because I need a pick me up. I'm in the office and I need to set up for a podcast session. We are trying to film at night so as I can control the light. And I need a lot of bokeh in my shot because I'm going to do a three camera setup. And you guys are in luck. I'm gonna set you guys at a con and then you're just gonna like follow through. I think I'll do a time lapse of sort. I hope you guys do enjoy. So I've been doing this set, set building for four hours. It doesn't usually take me four hours. I don't have enough light at the moment to, to bring this uh, set to life. Complete is better than perfection is what I'm trying to say. So that's that. I got new light lamps. You guys can see them. They're like really gorgeous. And I got them for a steal. I can't even imagine. Oh my goodness. I don't know how this guy is making profit because initially I was looking for it and they were about 600k. And I've probably got it for a tenth of that price. And this is a custom design. I freaking love them. Jesus Christ, I've been talking for four minutes. So I'm going to love and leave you. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Peace. Hey guys, good morning. It is, actually it's not morning, it's afternoon. It's currently around two-ish. I'm about to start recording. I was about to start recording the podcast with T. The setup is complete. I'm happy with what I'm getting. And then it started raining. So these are kind of the realities that you have to deal with. I have the Shure M7B over here. I could record, but I want the quality to be as crisp as po it can possibly be. And then I won't rain for too long. So we're going to just like talk about it and then see, see where we land. And you guys get to be on the front center of it all. Maybe I'll keep you guys like on a time lapse. Hey guys, just wrapped up the first episode. Well, it's not the first episode. This is probably going to be episode number six. I'm setting up for my single podcast conversation. So this is my 30 series. I share a lot of, I don't know, experiences. I'm 30. I have, I come with experience. So I have a bit of experience to share with you guys. So I don't know if I want to be here and then talk into the camera like this or talk into the mic. Me and T had done that episode last week and the footage that I'm about to do today, I batch created it last week. Only thing is I'm a perfectionist and I noticed the black magic was losing some audio and then the Sony, I had shot with it outside and I forgot to change the ISO so it was a bit grainy. Any other day I would have gotten away with that but I, I don't know, I'm a perfectionist like that. That's why we're repeating these episodes. And I don't mind, it's giving me a learning curve. It's giving me room to actually have the backlights in the background. I didn't have those. Also, let's just put a perspective into this. This is my 10th year in creating content. I think I started in 2014, so this is my, yeah, this is my 10th year. Jesus Christ. And around October, I think, is when I officially got into the sins of it. 
So I started as a blogger before, then I moved into Instagram, then I dipped my water into YouTube. It's one of the most scariest things that I've ever done. So anyways, that's that. I'm talking a lot and less working. So you guys saw the time lapse right now. I'm just gonna try and set out, give this room a different vibe to see what I'm going for and then record. I'm wearing this sexy, classy little number because I'm going to talk about why you look cheap. The vision you saw on Pinterest doesn't necessarily translate. It's taken me 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. It's taken me about seven years to learn some this knowledge, to collect all this knowledge. And that's kind of what I am going to tell you guys. So this is the field. I have three cameras. I have one over there for a wide shot. I have a medium shot over there and I have a side shot over here. And then I'm just gonna start to sit here and chat to you guys. Honestly, if you are able to do this without getting paid and it takes a lot, I have to like consistently move you guys because right now I've talked to you guys for so long, I just have to take you and then move you guys to around here so you guys can get like a different look and feel of what this is about. And that's, that's the beauty of content creation. I love it. <coughs> I don't know. I, I enjoy this. I can go. I can do this for hours. You guys saw the time lapse yesterday. To you guys, it might have looked like a minute or two. That was four hours of me just trying to move little, little bits. And for me, there are two things that play together. I'm an interior designer, self-proclaimed, but I do interior design and I do content creation. So to mix and match the two to give you guys the vision that I have in my head is so hard. And I'm also a fashion girly, so it is okay to be multifaceted. I'm done felt really good so I have content for two weeks and then after two weeks my shipment from Amazon will be here so I'll have the curtains I'll have the extra light and it's gonna take me quite less time to actually organize and set up this place and now I just have to like return the house to kind of how it is I, I could leave the carpet here but with Chloe playing around and whatnot she might make a mess of it and I don't want to always be cleaning um, to always be cleaning the the carpet so i'm just returning the couches everything else stays as it is and it's something that i am super proud of myself for accomplishing this part the only thing that i'll put away are the lights and then i won't be necessarily be using the ring lights i'll just have the two big soft uh boxes and that's it everything else i just have to add the carpet and then move them a little bit so i can have a you know mid-ground foreground and background that's kind of it he has me, he doesn't have to be. It's like sort of an adventure. Waiting that that will that will happen. <laughs> <laughs> like, like if you show that you will really <laughs> Okay. And I need to be conscious of capturing natural sounds. Okay. I need the Orange. So the pieces of guys can be one frosty. Can get that. I'm going to get less effects here, bomb, bomb, music, and they're like, hey, ref, come on. No, I'm going to do what So there are those that I can find naturally. Yeah, okay, right. And you can you get the other the bit. All right, hey, guys. Just got back from the office. And today, it's not been the most fun of days. I don't know. Today just didn't feel like, eh, one of those days. Like on a scale of one to ten today, it felt like a four or a three. I was low energy, and then I had this meeting that literally drained me. But I'm fine. Mondays are not always the very best because of the meetings that I have. I have like management meetings, and those can go either way. Last week it was good. This week not so good. So currently I'm at the house, and I want to start editing the podcast that I did yesterday. You guys saw a clip of me in the office. I was talking to my team about some stuff, mostly content creation. And that felt good. So I'm just going to stay here, start editing, and I will see you guys later. Um, T went for a walk, to, went for a run. I went to the gym in the morning. T runs on Mondays. And then he, I don't know, he twisted his ankle and now it's swollen. So he's in bed upstairs watching uh, a movie. I'm just going to take this downtime to do some work. I 
have been having a crazy time. Ever so often, I learned this learning, like editing technique that blows me too. I don't know. So yesterday when I was shooting the podcast, I did a three camera situation. I knew there was a way to edit out, like to sync out the audio, but I just learned something so much better. Maybe this is common sense. I don't know. This is just me and my editing brain. Like I'm editing and then they give you like a multi-cam situation. I think I need to show you what I'm talking about. And then see, I can see whatever I was filming around here. So I can just shoot and record to show you what I want to do. And I'm very excited and now I can do it. So that's on you. Oh, hi kiddo, how are you? Good, I'm good, thanks. If anybody is familiar with like big production live streaming where they always move from one camera to another camera, to another camera, you just press the camera number one, number two, number three, number four, and then it switches up. It's kind of the setup I've got going on here. I'm sorry, I'm geeking out. With the new premiere, I have the transcription of what, or the captions, closed captions of what I was talking about. It's on the side. So I'll just like listen, read, and be like, okay, T is talking, so switch to his camera. Or we, we, we were both laughing, let's move to like a wider angle. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm super excited. Anyways, let me just geek it up. I'm super excited. This is like the best thing that has happened to me today. And remember how I said today was a shit day? He just turned around. Period. Good morning. So I have uh, four gym days and two run days. If I don't get that boy, my dream body, I'm gonna be so pissed. Anywho, I don't wanna chat so much. Well, I'm wearing to work just came back from the gym and I love what I've put on together as my outfit of the day and I've also semi figured where I want the camera to be and this angle isn't bad I kind of look glam so I'm wearing this white pumps from Aldo shorts and th this set is from forever 21 and then this uh, sheer top is Zara nothing much is happening I just wanted to show you my outfit of the day I really like it and for bag this one <laughs> for bag i'm carrying my ted baker everyday tot so um this is the fit let's go to work i'm extremely late so let's go <laughs> yeah this shit is happening the whole day I'm going for a run. Hi, come on. I just want to take my pre workout and call them. I'm about to go for a run. I'm taking you guys with me. Today I'm doing a solo one. It's been raining, now it's drizzling. Mm. that okay let's go currently I'm going five three kilometers I think I'm only doing three day today so this should be fun I hope I'm really sorry I'm all my breath Hey 
Hey guys, Phew. one second. Phew. Honestly, one of the best I've had in a very long time. The weather was just perfect. I had the right amount of energy and I don't know, somehow when I know I'm creating content, I kind of have extra energy or just, there's something in me that's unleashed. And I think for me, that's why I enjoy content so much. There's a place that I go that's not always tapped into. Like my creativity comes with a lot of passion and I want to do everything at the same time. So it kind of gets overwhelming and then that becomes a fuel for my drive. Yesterday, somebody asked me, no, actually not somebody, Trevor, one of my long time creative friends and a brother, honestly, at this point, we've been friends from 2017, asked me what drives me. And I'm like, what do you mean? I was like, what drives you to go to the gym? What drives you to create? What drives you to do one, two, three? I don't know, I was just, I think we were having this creative discussion and then he just asked me that question. And it took me by surprise because I wasn't sure necessarily how to answer it. But when I was running this morning, that question was playing in my mind and it made so much sense. Sorry, I'm sweating and gross, but I also like to document me when I'm in my natural form. For me, this is a runner's high and it's glowing. So I think that for me, that's what creativity is. Because I've been doing it for so long, even before I actually made a penny. I, I see the vision. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. And even if the tunnel was like far-fetched and the light was super dim, I will still do this. This makes me feel exhilarated. I'm not very sure I'm saying it well, but you, you get the point. So anyways, this is me. I did a 3.7 kilometers, so I'm closing back to the 5k. The goal is to be able to do 5k runs in the morning. So I should be doing that probably in April or May. There's no pressure on that. I'm just going to take it one day at a time because initially doing a kilometer was painful but i'm also that girl that used to run 10k 15k for fun that was 27 2018 2019 granted but i'm trying to rebuild to go back into that place anywho enough chit chat let's let's go get dressed yeah i was actually not sure about the hat let me show you what i'm wearing this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing these cargo pants. I think these are from American Jeans. Could be wrong. So I have two of them, but this one, I think, is the American Jeans one. I'm wearing an outfit tee. And then for perfumes, I have the Zara's Rose Gourmand. This is my base layer. And then I've topped it up with the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. It's giving me ethereal girly, and I like it. I haven't worked. Thing. and I'm not going there to attend as a, a guest per se I'm going there with the team so that's why I'm wearing my office t-shirt but I'm really loving what I'm wearing so oh, I'll see you guys when I see you toodles easy rider on the highway they were doing a sell I think see two weeks no, like this cell is massive. You might be here two years. Open your basket. Hey guys, uh, it is late in the day. It's the event went well. We were there for quite some time. I ended up getting a group picture with the team. I actually enjoy this event for that particular reason. It gives me a time to get like updated group pictures with the team, which was so good. I also had some Amazon packages come through. I mean, so this is the first batch. Oh, the code management thingy. All right, that makes sense. <laughs> so I need to organize my codes under the desk. If you guys have seen my workstation, you have seen some of the things are like randomly placed. So I was just like, you know what? Hmm. It's $35, but let's just think on the bigger aesthetic picture. So we have a few code management system. Next up, what might this be? Oh, a charging adapter. Okay. So I got this wireless charging station. It's a three in one charging station. It looks like that. So you can charge your phone, watch and um, 
airpods i needed something to be able to plug my watch at least my watch and my my watch and phone at the same time rather than having different cables and i also do like a proper cable management here so it's like cordless and whatnot so having this works i want to see if it works better then i'll get the second one for tea not that he even cares about this this one just doesn't look like properly they opened it and sealed it to staples hella weird oh okay remember what these are i got two gaffer tapes <laughs> this is so random to buy them online i've been looking for gaffer tapes especially when i do podcasts i need to have my cable management like locked and set some of the wires are just hanging i needed them to be tucked in and then around here when i tried to look for gaffer tapes these are proper ones i was getting the electrical tapes so now i have two for safe fish uh, for safe measures the gaffer tapes were like 15 dollars, which is not bad and then oh this one i'm excited for i got a wireless timer remote this is like legit it's 59 dollars. Let, let's just move on from the price i was looking for okay let's back story you guys know i film myself a lot like when i create content and one of the reasons i create content or one of the reasons i'm able to create content or sometimes i delay but i want to be in my like in my consistent game i create content alone as much as it looks like i might have a production team i do this alone so i film alone i edit alone the podcast you saw the setup situation Re recorder the, or the remote that i had didn't work properly so sometimes it was a hit and miss or the batteries just like flat out die so i got the this is called a wireless timer remote and you have like a controller and a receiver kind of situation so i'll plug this on the camera and then i can like start and stop it from this angle quite easily and i hope it actually works so this this is definitely a want and a need lastly uh, this is hair dye for my blonde hair situation see you guys tomorrow good night hey guys good morning um today is the last day we made it yay i was able to vlog consistently and anyway, sometimes i get into this vlog and then i have some exciting moments that i want to share and then i sometimes forget to carry you and then sometimes i think a camera is inappropriate so it's so hard to like balance showing you everything that i want to show you guys but also respecting people's privacy but also having a real ass job that is worth documenting but again i get busy and whatnot but we made it I've, i'm actually very confident with this vlog i like the content that i've shared so far this is my outfit of the day today's thursday so i'm just wearing this mini knitted dress and i have thrown in this sweater just to just to add a little bit of something and i actually don't feel like heels today so i've paired in my sambas scent of the day i'm wearing this choco mask it's such it smells like a chocolate fountain and then i've paired it up with la vie by lancome just to give it a little mystery lady of the night kind of situation i'm not even sure how i'm gonna close this vlog Nisikiliza naitwa Msanoaji John Jackson kana mimi ukurasa wa pili unafuata mna simrem. Oh, what to say man? Yeah. The fear of missing out. Yeah. Sisi tumekuja ku feel out hiyo gap ya fear of missing out. Mm. Oh, kwa yes. mtabii na masuala ya picha nini? Picha video, yeah. live stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kwa hiyo inabidi watu waje wame drip sana siku. Watu wapendeze. Ni nadhani tutakutana hivi. Mtu vibe sana. Kaje ushindo wewe. Weka tuweke. Weka tuweke. Ni ni tayari ku drip yani. I don't know. Nice. I wish you all the best. Asante. Yeah, so make sure na pull up your mamosi kwenye Malkia on Gufu 2024 wake to wake. I just want to quickly close this vlog while I do skincare with you. Just part of it. I'm going in with my Anwa Hot Leaf Pore Control Cleanser. This is a new one that I've been doing. I use the um, toner and I've had mad good things about her. But my thing with it is it doesn't necessarily get rid of all the makeup. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But today was just a weird, different day. Like it wasn't a normal day. I might have some clips to show you for this and I have to be like, my camera is almost full. I have like five minutes to explain this. So we have an event happening this weekend and we are covered. And I had to go like talk about it on live TV and live radio. Like of all, like I knew creating content was something different and it would take me 
someplace. The only thing that today we were doing was first I had to, to be fluent in Swahili, which I couldn't do it. So I was, I was with Leslie, we kind of did a, did a bit about what we're doing and what like the company is gonna do on Saturday and what people should expect and what not. And it's something that I know. But explaining it and in Swahili, that was tough. But that was done, did. I just have that, oh my God, look at how life turned out. Like 2016, 2017, Kimi, wouldn't believe the life I'm living, is all I have to say. Anyways, I just wanna close out the vlog. I have a massive pimple over here. It's evident on the photos. I think that's because my period is due. All I have to say is, don't quit your daydream. You are closer than you think. Being on radio or live TV was never in my bingo cards for 2024. But here we are. I'm gonna go shower, be horizontal. Today was a long day and I also don't have an upload for tonight. I was supposed to upload something, but a lot happened today and um, styled. I'm kind of slow on that aspect and I want to have this vlog up on Sunday. So I'll try and edit it tomorrow and Saturday. Otherwise, I'm going to love and leave you. And again, if there's anything you are to learn from all this vlog, don't quit your daydream. You're closer than you think. I'm going to love and leave you and I'll see you guys on the next one. Mwah. Bye. Talk to me nice